Robbo, I feel like you were completely outclassed there tonight. I was a good start, but you fell away badly. Yeah, we, you know, it was, I guess we were up 8-6 there when Rads went off. Um, but we were still, there was still quite a few errors coming out of our own end. We sort of gave them the field position, even at 8-6, was not really in our favour. Uh, and then that sort of carried on. Then two tries, you know, 18-8 by half time and then two tries straight after half time. Um, yeah, wet night, uh, field position and end of sets are, um, you know, vital in those times. And then we, we gave them field position and um, they really controlled where they gave us the ball. And then end of sets, they just, you know, they kicked well, they outclassed us there. So it's disappointing. Sinbin, do you think it was a bit of a game turner looking back now? Yeah, well, yeah, eight six to eighteen eight, two tries during that time. Um, but I was, as I say, like it, it obviously was, but then also the the things that were happening up until that time, we had to we had to really be disciplined in that that period of time and get down that end and kick well. I think we kicked out on the full during that time as well. I think we had an error and it, we gave them field position at 12 men on a wet night. Um, and they had a really good game plan and they executed it well uh, against us and uh, yeah. How frustrated were you with the Victor moment? Uh, very, yeah, really frustrated. Unnecessary? Yep. And, and what's his reaction been? Uh, yeah, no, no real reaction at the moment. It's sort of, it's sort of, on the pretty light side, I would say, of what's that. We have 10 minutes last week for um, that and then 10 minutes this week for this. It's, um, yeah, it's frustrating that it's sort of, there's such a big difference in the in the 10 minutes. Um, so you're frustrated because you didn't think it was a sin bin? Uh, no, I, I, well, I, th I guess we got, we got some things out this week from the NRL basically saying, um, you know, you can't do that. You know, if that happened to Kez, I'd be, I'd be really frustrated there. It wasn't necessary, um, and it wasn't the end of the world at the same time. I'm um, Trent with um, with Brandon Smith, uh, and forgive me if I've missed this in other games. Do you usually take him off late in the first half, or did you make a switch? Uh, no, it's, we, we left him last game um, there, but it was during that that uh, he's, he's only played the full 40 last week out of the games that he's played. So what we decided to do there was it was halfway during the sin binning. So I just wanted to get Terps on there to, you know, do some defence and, 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 and bring some energy during that time as the other guys were working hard. And then I could get Brandon on back after half time. But, you know, the time that I thought they played really well, actually, I thought Brandon did really well start a game, I thought Lindsay, Jared, those boys really pushed hard. You know, they they come off the bench at eight six and they go back on at twenty six eight. You know, that's that was really tough. Luke, what was the feel out there in attack? Because there was in the build up to this it looked like things were starting to click. But for you out there I could see you calling for the ball and it just wasn't all coming together tonight. Yeah, I think it was probably the byproduct of not getting out of our end drop balls. They just they were hitting the ball up and kicking well, and we were trying to move it, dropping the ball, not kicking well, and that was the byproduct and yeah, the frustration. And started throwing the ball around. Yeah. So could you feel that, like Trent said, he could sense it even before the victor that you were you were just yeah, off yeah. tonight? Yeah, you could feel. You just feel we we missed our mark in that that the style of game. We probably went to. We felt probably good off the back of last week, and then um, we didn't roll our sleeves up and get real dirty there at the start. Robo, just back on Victor, because he's, he's such a great asset for you, but those are such big moments in games that can cost you. So I know you've spoken to him before about treading that fine line. You know, how, how does he take, how's he going to take this forward? I know he'll, he'll be really disappointed that that 10 minutes that the team yeah. had to withstand. Yeah, look, I don't want him to... Um, I want him to sort of fix it but not dwell on it. He's made some really good progressions this year. So he's not going to go back to to zero on, on, on the stuff that he's sort of 
got under control and, and the way that he's played the game. He's playing good minutes, he's playing good time, he's got good vision of play. Um, and he made a mistake there, but um, yeah, we won't dwell on it for too long. Uh, yeah. If the stats were right, you guys missed like 39 tackles. Is that mindset or, you know, what do you kind of put that down to tonight? Yeah, definitely um, that's what happened tonight. You know, there wasn't. Uh, you know, as I said, I thought our middles, I thought our edges were poor in the tackling department. You know, the questions they got asked, they needed to be much better on, on finishing them off, and they weren't. Is everyone OK injury-wise? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Fletcher Baker is probably the only one that sort of came off there.